Okay, talk to you guys soon. We have to actually get ready for our video, so see you later, crocodile and a wild alligator. Uh, Gus, I think you got that confused. Mm, probably. I always do. I actually can't really tell which one is which. You mean how to say goodbye? <laughs> no, I mean between alligators and crocodiles. Jeez. Actually, a lot of people get them confused. I think today is the perfect day to explain the difference between them. Wait, between what? How to say goodbye? Ugh, I guess you need a lot more help than we thought. I've been telling you that for years. <laughs> Only learn that now? Let's start the video. Crocodiles and alligators are both reptiles from the same order of animals named Crocodilia. There are, however, a number of important differences which set these two giant reptiles apart, which we're going to learn about. But first, here are some basic facts about both alligators and crocodiles. And both crocodiles and alligators have existed almost completely unchanged for the last 55 million years. They have ancestors in their family that first showed up around 200 million years ago. And this means that animals very similar to crocodiles and alligators have existed since the time of the dinosaurs. Alligators and crocodiles are cold-blooded reptiles, which means they have to regulate their body temperature with their surroundings. And they do this by cooling off in the shade or swimming and warming themselves up in the sun. And like most reptiles, alligators and crocodiles lay eggs. Alligators and crocodiles both have skin covered with hard, dry scales. And you may hear some people call alligators gators, and crocodiles are sometimes called crocs. Nope, not those kind though. So what's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? I think it's more than just how they say goodbye. Well, there's a little bit more to it than just that, Gus. First, you can tell alligators and crocodiles apart mostly by the width of their nose or snout. Alligators have wide jaws that look like the letter U, with a broad nose. And crocodiles usually have a more narrow nose with a longer, narrow jaw that is pointier, kind of like the letter V. And hey, guess what? This difference in shape means that alligators have more strength in their mouths, and this helps them eat hard things, like turtles, for example. Alligators' upper jaws are wide, and this allows their teeth to stay hidden in their mouth. Crocodiles' upper and lower jaws are the same size. This shows their teeth as they interlock. But you probably don't want to get close enough to check for yourself. When a crocodile's mouth is closed, you can see its fourth bottom tooth popping above its top lip. But on an alligator, you won't see the fourth tooth on the bottom of its mouth. And alligators are usually also darker in color as well as live near fresh water. The American alligator and the Chinese alligator are the only two kinds of alligators there are. In fact, China and the United States are the only two countries in the world where alligators are found. And alligators can be found in the southeastern parts of the United States, usually in Florida and Louisiana. Crocodiles can be found in a lot more areas. They can be found in tropical locations in Asia, America, Africa, and Australia. Some crocodiles can live in salt water as well as fresh water. And sometimes baby crocodiles will catch a ride on their mother's back and will even hide in her mouth from other predators. 
Sadly, some crocodiles are on the endangered species list. And crocodiles are usually more aggressive than alligators. Even though both can be dangerous, crocodiles are more dangerous than alligators. Both crocodiles and alligators can swim very fast. That's right, Quinn. They might look slow when they are out of the water and laying in the sun, hardly moving around, but do not be fooled by this. Alligators or crocodiles can move very fast over short distances. Kind of like when Mommy gets home from school and has to use the bathroom. She moves faster than I ever seen her. Or like when you get off the school bus and have to do poo poo. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> that is true, Gus. I've never seen two people sprint so fast unless they're in the Olympics. But alligators and crocodiles can run about 11 miles per hour when they're on land. And their hearing is excellent, and they can see very well above water. But they can also feel and sense movements underwater, and this is what helps them catch prey for their food. So now you may be asking, how big do they get? That's a good question, Quinn. Alligators and crocodiles can grow quite large. That's kind of an understatement. The largest alligator ever recorded was 19 feet long, and the largest crocodile is estimated to be around 28 feet. That's almost half the length of a bowling lane. Wow. Normally, alligators grow to be about 10 to 15 feet long as adults, and they can weigh about 500 pounds. Crocodiles usually grow to be about 14 to 17 feet and can weigh as much as 2,200 pounds. That's over one ton. Alligators and crocodiles are carnivores, which means they eat meat. And they'll kill and eat almost anything they catch, including fish, deer, frogs, birds, and even buffalo. But... They usually choose to eat animals that they can swallow in one or two bites. Kind of like when your dad eats pizza. <laughs> <laughs> they will sometimes eat larger animals by biting them and then dragging them underwater to drown them first. Hey, guess what? Did you know that they don't chew their food? Instead, they use their teeth to rip off chunks and then swallow their pieces whole? Younger alligators and crocodiles eat insects, crustaceans, and small fish. And here are a few more fun facts that you can share with your friends and family to show how much you actually learned today about alligators and crocodiles. And when they are underwater, alligators and crocodiles can hold their breath for up to one hour. Alligators and crocodiles are one of the few reptiles that watch over and protect their young once their eggs hatch. Hey, guess what? It's hard to surprise an alligator or crocodile because their eyes are on the top of their heads. Which is a reason why you guys can never surprise me. <laughs> God. Ah, you scared me! I guess it doesn't work. And did you know that alligators and crocodiles are also excellent hunters at night? They actually have and use night vision to hunt. So, as you can see, there are a lot of things in common. So, it's not a surprise that many people have a hard time telling them apart. Well, hey, guess what? Now you, me... And these two know all about alligators and crocodiles. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. See you later. Alligator!